Dog 11 has been launched. Monday to you, Freaky Friday to me. Another week down, you guys have been amazing. Supporting me through my commitment to vlog every day through the month of July, every business day. A small business owner with a heart for small business. Let me tell you why I'm wearing glasses. I don't normally wear sunglasses. They give me migraines, unless I'm on my scooter. But today I'm wearing glasses because I've been doing some work in a hundred year old building. And yesterday I was doing some sanding. It hurts, painful. It feels like several spiders bit me on my lower lobe, on my lower eyelid. All right, what are we gonna talk about today? I don't know yet, but hopefully as the day goes along, I will come across something I think is worth talking about. It always seems to happen, but you know, we're to vlog 12, so it'll come to me. Don't worry, we'll get something. Right now I'm just trying to focus on my eye not falling out of my head. Here we go. Uh, we didn't have a Q&A this week and we didn't have a special guest. So maybe we'll do a Q&A. I pushed it out on Facebook, see what questions we get back today. It's question and answer Friday. That's, I don't know if that's gonna stick. That, just a warning. But this is your Monday. Question and answer Monday. That's better. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm stuck behind a train. Well, I'm stuck at a train. So what better time to do a question from our question and answer session. Dustin S. Mitchell, how do you prioritize your day? Dustin, I prioritize my day like this. Family first, then get to work. I'm assuming though that you're talking about just work. I'm to a place now where my phone, my mobile, my mobile works as a good indicator for what is important for me that day. Here's how my day usually goes. Emails, phone calls, tasks. And it usually circulates like that. Emails, phone calls, tasks. Wake up in the morning, answer the emails that come straight through. One thing I've realized about dealing with customers and clients is the quicker your response, the more forgiving they are of your brevity. In other words, if a client writes you a two paragraph question and you answer within minutes of getting the email with a one liner that answers their question, they're happy with that. But if their email set in your inbox all day and you answer with a one liner, they get upset. Emails, top of the list, spam, 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 not interested, not interested, interested. Then I go to flagged emails. Interested, I need to answer that now, quick line, go. Just came in, quick line, go. Answer, answer, answer. This deserves a longer answer. Flag, get to it later. Yellow flag, needs to be answered this month. Red flag, needs to be answered as soon as possible. Urgent, answered right now. Quick, one-liner, boom, email's gone. Next, text phone calls. Those are notifications that come up on my phone. Clients, friends, family are all becoming more tolerant of texts. It's a quicker response time. Texts are next. Phone calls, nobody does them anymore, forget them. I think I've gone in the past year and a half, maybe two years, from getting 10 voicemails a day to about five. Emails, text, tasks. I use a task list called Wonderlist. If you haven't used Wonderlist, use it. This will help you prioritize your tasks. Pick up, drag, drop. How I prioritize my tasks are money. Money gets first. Which of these tasks equal money and the largest amounts of money? Largest amounts of money get done first. Email, text, phone calls, task, repeat. If it's not, if there's no money involved, it's the hardest task first. If you're not doing your hardest task first, then change. That's the only way to prioritize. We did find a special guest. Yay! I need to shave. Bergy, Bergy, Bergy. Right hand man at the comedy club known as Capital City Theater. You know what I was thinking about? We used to vlog together. Capital City Video Blog. Link right up there. Um, Bergy answers business questions. Bergy answers business questions segment of the day. Al Tandy asks, how do you cube a cantaloupe? No, he didn't. Yeah. I think because people know I'm in comedy, they try and be funny to me, and that's just, I mean, you couldn't 
go I want more. like some real business questions. Okay. It's easy. Round edge, round edge, round edge, round edge, round edge, round edge. It's a cue. Chipotle. I spaced a little bit while you were answering that question, but I'm back. Good. When you start talking about Star Wars, I drifted off. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about?